Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you a quick demo on how to install and use my camera composition overlays pack that will soon, if not already be available on the new Epic Games Marketplace, fab.com. And it's a really simple yet powerful post-process material that you can add to any cinema camera actor. Uh, and it will help you to create like more cinematic and engaging shots with, with really tried and true composition approaches found in art, design, photography. You'll, you've seen it probably in many of your favorite films without even realizing it. Um, and some of these approaches include the golden spiral, dynamic symmetry, diagonals, and, and many, many more. So you can see I've created uh, this block out level here, um, just dropped in a bunch of different shapes. And I also ended up adding the third person character here. Let me go ahead and pull them up here. Um, as basically a subject of focus amidst all of these different shapes here. This is typically how you might start a block out level. You have an idea of what it is that you're trying to do and you may end up dropping some shapes into the scene. But then ultimately you wanna make sure that the composition of your shots look decent. So once you've downloaded the pack, uh, you are simply going to add the pack to your content folder. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We bring this over here. So once you downloaded the pack, um, it's gonna come as a zip file. Um, and then you're gonna basically just unzip that and you're gonna have this darker pixels overlays file. Now I've already created a folder for this project. All you simply do, let me go back here. I'm going to copy this pack folder. I'm gonna come over to demo here. I'm gonna go into my projects and I'm gonna go into the content folder and I'm going to control V and paste it here. And you're gonna see it show up in this folder and you're also gonna see it now show up over here in your content browser. And, and it's that simple to install the, the pack for any project. You just simply copy it into the content folder. Do not try to import it because if you try to import it, you're gonna find uh, that it's not gonna work because they're all .u asset files that have already been converted and the engine does not want to convert files a second time. So you just drop it in there and then you have access to it. Now, the way that you set this up, we're gonna go ahead and first add a cinema camera actor here. Let's go to cinematic, cinema camera actor. And then once you have the cinema camera actor open, you're going to go down to the search in the details panel for the cinema camera actor. And you're gonna type in post pro math. And that's just gonna bring us to the post process materials options here. Uh, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna add one array element. And then from the drop down, you're gonna choose asset reference. Now this is gonna allow us to now choose from a secondary drop down here, and we're gonna type in DRKR. And what's gonna come up is the master material and the material instance that's going to be applied to this cinema camera actor. We're actually gonna do the darker overlays material instance. And once you click on that, you're gonna actually see that there is now a, an overlay. This actually happens to be a diagonals overlay on top of this. Now, in order to control the overall look of the overlay, all you simply do is go into the darker pixels overlays folder, and then you can open up the darker pixels overlays material instance here. So I'm gonna double click on this. I'm actually gonna pop this window out here and make this a bit smaller. And in a subsequent update, I'm planning to make this a, a widget that you can dock very easily inside of the editor, just like you would your content browser or details uh, panel, et cetera, to make it a little bit easier. But for right now, you can control everything through the material instance here. And what we'll do is we'll close all of these that we don't need. We don't need to preview these. These three, the global scale of parameters, texture and vector parameter values, these are the three that are gonna give us complete control over the look of this overlay here. So I'm just going to make this as small as I possibly can for now. Again, I said I'm going to turn this into a widget and make it much easier to keep this in here while you're actually crafting your cinematic shots. And as you can see here right now, I have the triangles two darker pixels uh, uh, overlay selected. Now I can come down here and I can type in DRKR. It's the best way to search. And you'll see here that you have all these different uh, overlay textures to choose from center rays, you can go ahead and select that one and you see you get this sort of pattern here. And while we're, while we're at this, just so we can make this a little bit more obvious here, why don't we go ahead and go into a 
cinematic viewport. And we're also gonna select the cinema camera actor here that I've created. And now we're actually looking at this um, a bit more easily here. So let me go ahead and select inside of here. You can select this so I can actually navigate while I'm in here. And we can immediately start using this to craft shots. Now in particular, I'm gonna go ahead and type in golden ratio. And we're gonna select this first one here. Actually, you know, I'm gonna select a different golden ratio. I'm gonna do maybe this fourth one here because I, I think I want my character to be on this side here. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna navigate to where my, my, my actor is here, right? So right now, if I'm trying to craft a shot here, I think right now my focal length might be, might be a bit too short. I might need to move uh, some of these, these meshes around so I can start to get something that, 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 that looks like what I'm looking for, what I'm thinking about. Again, this is just all experimentation, just creative, just having a little bit of fun with placement and composition, things that are, again, tried and true and appealing to the human eye, just an overall aesthetic that uh, people tend to gravitate towards uh, and it feels good. So we can play around with this a bit more here. Uh, let me actually change my focal length on my camera here. Let's go into cinema, our cine camera actor. And I'm gonna go with a bit wider focal length. Let me come down here to current camera settings. I'm gonna go with a, a 20 millimeter for the time being here. And I can come in here now and I'm actually, let's see here. I really, you know, I don't like what the, the position of, of this character is. We're gonna, let me, pull, let me pull this character out. Come on this side here. And maybe we'll do something more from over here. Let's just have a little bit more perspective here. I might drag something like this back here. So I have some foreground elements going on here just to make it a little bit more interesting. Maybe that's a little bit too, maybe this is a little too big here. I'm gonna scale this down, this whole thing here. Just a little bit smaller, something like that. And I can start to now uh, use the golden spiral to craft, you know, whatever sort of shot that I'm, that I'm looking for. And then in terms of the, the flexibility that I have with the controls here, now I can, I can adjust the overall overlay opacity here, as you can see there. I can also adjust the rotation of, of this uh, overlay. I can adjust the scale of this overlay. It doesn't really work well with the golden ratio, but there might be something with one of the other overlays where that might make sense. Um, and I can also do an offset for the overlay, both on the X axis as well as the Y axis. And these both here are, are default to zero here. So for the overlay, I typically like to leave it at 0.5. And then if I want to, use a different overlay here. I just simply come in here, type in DRKR. And let's say I want to try these horizontal lines. I can use this as an overlay. We also have options for, uh, again, type in DRKR here. And I may want to use triangles and so forth. So you can start to really utilize some of these camera composition tools. Now, fortunately, Unreal itself does not have an extensive set of camera uh, composition overlays that you can use. Um, if you do come over here, you'll, you will see that there is uh, a, a grid for three by three. You'll see that there's a grid for a two by two. You have a crosshair and you have rebatement. Um, and then you don't have any, any flexibility over the colors. You don't have any flexibility over the scaling or rotation or really, really creating an infinite number of, of types of composition overlays as you do with this particular pack. So perhaps that's something that 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 uh, Epic Games will, will come out with later on. And you may not even need this pack, but in the meanwhile, this is a, a tool that you can use to start creating and crafting some cinematic shots. So I hope you find this tool very, very useful and I can't wait to see what you create.